we had been together for a very long time at that stage. How long was that? That was about seven or eight years in and obviously everyone's like so when are you gonna ask the question when are you gonna pop the question so we had already spoken about it and i think at some point in like 2018 i was like ah probably like by next year so <laughs> i planned to do it in the summer of 2019 but then i got really sick and ended up in hospital and stuff went really mad so didn't end up happening so then the plan was some point in that next back half of 2019 maybe around christmas because i wanted to be home and i wanted to be around family and then i got really sick again and I had to have the same operation. So I was just wiped out, like full like abdominal surgery. And they were like, don't do anything for a couple of weeks. 27th, we flew home. So I still had this like end of 2019 in my mind. I was at home and I wasn't meant to be doing anything without supervision. Like I wasn't allowed to leave the house. So I had three days to do everything to like, I'd like booked a hotel and stuff and I'd done all the nice like stuff that I could plan in advance, but I needed to ask Anna's dad and I needed to buy a ring and I wasn't allowed to go out to do either of those things. So Anna went somewhere, I think you were at a drag show and you were somewhere else the day before and I snuck out, bought a ring. Bought a ring before asking her dad, which was, which was a big move, but you know, I kind of backed myself. Um, the day after, uh, we were going over to Anna's granny's house to just see the family, and your dad just, out of the blue, offered me a lift, and I was like, this is perfect, because I couldn't drive, I wasn't allowed to drive yet. Asked him, he said yes. Spoke to Anna's mum, got her blessing. Then we went away to the Galgor. I spent all day freaking out, and I was like, you're being really weird, and I have no idea why, and I was like, ha you're gonna find out. It's gonna be great, but I have a full day of like pushing this off. Um, so really nervous energy all day. Booked into the spa because I wanted a reason to be there to like kind of sort of push away your suspicions. Uh, I was two weeks post-surgery, so I wasn't allowed to do anything in the spa. So they were like, why are you here? Um, went out for a nice dinner, talked a load about music, which was kind of nice and full circle. Then, went to one of the nice bits in the garden in the Galgorm and told you how I felt, asked you to marry me, you, you cried a bit and said yes. I cried a lot. I didn't know anything until it happened. And then the day that we were going, he made me drive him to a barber so he could get a haircut. <laughs> and. I said, it's fine, we'll just, why do you need a haircut? It's fine, we'll just go. And he said, no, I have to get this haircut. I have to get this haircut. And he was being really weird about it. So the thought kind of did pop into my head. And then I thought, no, there's no way. He's been in hospital. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I just, I just let it go. We went to the hotel. I went to the spa. We went to dinner. I, do you remember this? I ate a pizza for dinner. Yes. And we had so much food that I couldn't eat my pizza, but I was like, this pizza is really good. I'm going to put it in a box and I'm going to take it to the room and I'm going to take it home tomorrow. And he said, nope, you can't do that. You have to leave it here. And I was really upset because I was like, this is the best pizza I've ever had. I don't want to leave it here. But I didn't know that James had been speaking to the hotel and they had decorated our room for us just in case it rained or whatever and he could propose there. And then we went for a walk and we went to um, a little part in the gardens in the Galgorm that has like a bench with chandeliers and the trees and stuff and it's really pretty and yeah he asked me there and I cried a lot and then <laughs> and then um, we just called our families and let them know and then my favorite part about the whole night was we just turned our phones off and left them in the room and went and had a drink and just kind of celebrated it just the two of us but yeah, it definitely was very unexpected. How would I describe Anna? Anna is kind. Anna is beautiful. Anna is thoughtful, sensitive, strong as anyone I've ever met. Hard as nails. The most caring person I've ever met. Really, really good to have in a crisis, which is not something you want to know, I'd give anything to not have lived through several crises with you, but I'm very glad that you were the person there. Um, Anna is very funny, not as funny as me, but funny. Um, yeah, Anna's, Anna's the best. Anna's crying a bit. 
sorry. So am I. It's fine. <laughs> I think James is incredibly talented and he's one of those really annoying people that can kind of just put his mind to anything and be really good at it in a very short space of time. He is very kind and caring and he has this real skill that I don't think a lot of people have in picking up on the really little things, which is really nice, especially for a person that has uh, succeeded so much and done so many great things the last couple of years. He'll still be like, oh, you put a different color eyeshadow on today. That's really great. I'm so happy for you. Like, <laughs> he just has this real skill of noticing all the really little things. He's also someone who can go into any room and just, he kind of lights up a room. I know that's very cheesy to say, but in a way that only he can. And he's, I hate that I'm saying it because I'll never hear the end of it, but he is so funny. So funny. I'm hilarious, I'll give you that. <laughs> it's one of my favorite oh, things. And one of sorry. the things I love most about him is that every day is full of laughter and everything, it just, he just makes everything a little bit brighter and a little bit happier. And yeah, I'm very lucky that that's my whole life and my everyday. I'm allowed to shed a tear. Am I allowed to absolutely just weep? Or what's <laughs> what's what's the protocol? Openly weep. Yeah. yeah. Just no. Wow. Practice for the wedding. <laughs> we were friends for a long time as teenagers, and then we sort of gradually got together. And there was just one moment where I came to James's house and we were just sat. I think we were watching Family Guy. I think, I think it was we Family were. Guy. Cringe. <laughs> Oh no. But we were just sat and we were talking and stuff and then I just remember coming away that evening and going that was really nice and I really enjoyed spending time with James one on one. I don't know if we've ever done that before and just realizing that I thought of him in a different way than I did before. I think yeah, I think that that was pretty much the start of it. Who I've just remembered, which what? is a funny thing. Like the whole reason I've just remembered, this was all about a cup of tea. <laughs> this <laughs> whole thing. Do you not remember? So one of Anna's good friends lives further out of town in North Belfast than I do. And Anna would go past my house up like up there on the bus and be like, I can't believe you've never invited me into your house. Do you not remember all this? I can't, yeah, and I'd be like, I, I can't believe you'd never, you've never invited me in, just as a joke. And I'm like, always welcome, come on ahead. And she's like, that's not how that works. So I was like, all right. She was like, invite me in for a cup of tea, come on, man. So actually was like, yeah, come on ahead. Came over, made you a cup of tea, it was probably bad. And here we are. So it was literally Anna been. being like, I can't believe I've never been to your house. How dare you? Huh? It must have been a good cup of tea. Must have been a decent cup of tea because you've stuck around. Nice. <laughs>